Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working on saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing methods to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. <laughs> Well, hey, you guys, welcome back. I'm so excited. Today we're doing a cash condensing, which is my favorite type of video to film. I love a good cash condensing. So I took this money out of our savings account because I just needed some bigger denominations. What a cash condensing is, is basically I'm gonna go through my sinking funds envelopes and my savings challenges, and we are gonna be swapping out small denominations for larger ones because my cash envelopes are getting a little too full. So I think I am going to start with our 5K savings challenge because I know that we have um, some smaller bills in here, which I think I'm gonna need once we get into our sinking funds. So I'm just gonna grab all of the cash out of here for now. And then we're gonna count it up and kind of see where we are at with everything. This is the cash that's left over since the last time I did a condensing. And so my trackers signify how much I've actually saved. But I do pull this out and put this into my into my uh, savings account. So this is like, I never do this in a way that makes sense. So it's just like super random. Okay. So then we can count this up. And this is all going to go in, back into our savings account, like I said. So I am just going to put it over here because this money, like I said earlier, I took out of our savings account. The money I'm pulling out of our savings challenges is going into our savings account. So it's all going back to the same place. So in the month of June, we saved 100, 200, 300, 400. I guess this is not true. In the month of June, we saved 500 and something. I counted it during my cash stuffing video, which is gonna to post tomorrow technically. So this is how much was left over in here and what we saved in June. Hopefully that's not confusing. All right, 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, 758, 859, 950, 970, 990. Yeah, that's right, 990. 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So 1,050. So let's grab, I forgot to take these out earlier, my placeholders, which I have back here. So we have a 1K, do 1K. Let's just take all of these out actually. And I'll explain what these are for anyone who's new. So a placeholder is basically signifying how much money you have in an envelope, but it's for larger amounts. So my placeholders that are in my shop are 1,000, well, it starts at 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5, 10, and 20,000. They're out of stock right now, but I promise, I promise they are gonna get restocked. It's actually the next thing that I'm restocking is some of those handmade items. So we're gonna keep 1,000 here and then a 50. And then the rest of this, which is $1,000, is gonna go back into our savings account, or into our savings account, I guess I should say. All right, I like to have a little bit in each envelope, but that's not gonna happen right now, which is fine. So let's just put this, both of these things in June. Okay, so that's it for the 5K savings challenge. Next, we will do the 10K. Let's see, what do we have in here? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have a thousand. One, two, two, fifty, three, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. So three hundred and ninety. All right, so it should be three hundred. One, two, two, fifty, two, seventy, eighty, ninety, three hundred. 
wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. So we're actually going to take, we're just going to go like this because we're condensing. That's what we're doing here. And then this is a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one thousand. We will add. And I think I'm just going to keep this in like the most recent envelope. So then next month when we do a condensing, it's just right here. So we can condense that into what we save for July. So that is it for the 10K. Next, we are going to do our high priority sinking funds. And I filmed these videos opposite. So I filmed my cash stuffing video first, which is actually gonna post on Sunday, and this video is gonna post on Saturday, the day before. So you are seeing these dashboards for the first time, but I showed these during my cash stuffing video. So these are the new frosted dashboards that were recently added to the shop. Make sure you watch that video tomorrow so that you can see all of the new dashboards, or you can just go look on my website because they're already up. They, today is Thursday, they're launching tomorrow, and then this video is getting posted on Saturday. But, okay, let's see what we have here for groceries. I'm gonna keep some smaller bills, but I do wanna condense those 10s into a 20. What do we have here? One, two, three, 354, 455. So we can swap this out for a $500 placeholder. And then I'm gonna show you where we're gonna keep this money. Okay, so this is my binder where I keep some of the money that we don't actually take back to the bank. I'm not sure if I have a placeholder. So these are custom inserts and these will be added to the shop with my next restock. Okay, so I don't have one for fresh beef and pork. So that's okay. I will make one. I do have an open envelope though. So I'm going to just put this money. So one, two, three. So I'm going to keep this money right here for right now. The reason my husband and I do this method instead of putting it all into our savings account is because we are still working on changing our mindset when it comes to money. And if I put all of that money into our savings account, I keep watching that number grow, which is exciting, but it also makes me a little sloppy. So I am like, oh, look at all the money we have in our savings account. And then I start kind of drifting away from the good habits that we've built. So I like to keep that money out of sight, out of mind until we need it. So it's typically money that we are maybe gonna spend in a relatively short period of time, like within less than a year. There is some of these categories though that I do put into our savings account, like if I don't plan on spending it anytime soon. All right, so for clothing, I'm gonna swap these out for a 50. Beauty. Um, let's do this. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So let's do a 50. Because then you have a little bit of everything. I'm doing an unstuffing, I think, next week. So I just want to make sure I have some smaller denominations for these categories I know that I'll be pulling money out of. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Mm. I'm actually going to do 250s because when my husband buys dog food, it's $50 for, for that. So... All right, my chickens, 20, 40, 60, 80, 115. I'm gonna do that same thing, I'm gonna take 250s. Vehicle maintenance, so 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. 
So vehicle maintenance, um, I can't remember if we have this one in our savings account or not. I'll check next time we go into the binder because we're gonna need to put medical, well, no, medical is an example of a category that we do keep into our savings account in our, in the bank. So one, two, three, four, five. So we are gonna swap the $500 and the placeholder out for a 1K and then 51, 52. I did that a little backwards, but. So $1,200 for medical. Health, we cannot condense that. We have 130 in there. Co-pays, let's see. So we have 90 here. So let's just swap this out for a 20. My co-pay at the chiropractor is 35. So I like to keep at least exactly 35 in here. So I know I could break this into 100, but I don't want to make it more, more work for the chiropractic clinic. So for tax prep, we have 1, 2, 253, 350, 370, 390, 400. All right, and this is to pay our CPA for the quarterly work she does for us, for our businesses more specifically, but 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Let's definitely swap these out for 50. 250 in memberships. All right, and that is it for high priority. Next, we'll do low priority. So I do have the frosted dashboards for each of my binders. Okay, eating out, we won't condense. We won't condense drinks. Spending money, no. Date night, yes. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So we're gonna do 250s. Fun. 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We're kind of saving up. We kind of want to take the kids on like a little mini trip. So we're going to save up for that for a while. Self care 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. I'm just gonna keep this. I think I might get my nails done this week. I haven't decided yet, but either way, that money gets spent like pretty consistently. So for gifts, we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 190. So let's do 50, 70, 80. Okay, so we'll swap this out for 100. Hockey rink. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30. So 130. So this should be 100, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Perfect. Travel, so 50, 70, 80, 90, 105. So I do wanna keep some smaller bills in here because when we go to visit my mom, I like to have some cash in case the kids wanna stop and get like a little snack or something just for fun. 50, 70, 90, 105. Canning. 1, 20, 40, 60, 82. So let's swap all of this out. 
for 200. So you have 220 in canning. Farmer's Market, so 51. Actually, I'm gonna keep all 50s in here. What do I wanna do? I'll swap this out for 100. I wanna keep a few different denominations in there. Horses, so 50, 1, 20, 40, 60. So I'll do 160. Right now we're saving up for fencing. First things first. All right. You know what, I'm gonna do this backwards. We're gonna swap this out for a couple fives only because I like to have fives for my wallet for my miscellaneous and kindness envelopes. So that way I know I'll be good to go for next week's cash stuffing. All right, next up is the kids binder. And all of, I can't remember if I mentioned this already in this video or if it was the cash stuffing video I filmed right before this, but all of the Sophie binders, all the colors, all the sizes are all restocked. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, $120. So let's swap these out for a 50. Again, I'm keeping my unstuffings in mind when I pull money out of these envelopes for doing online spending or using a debit card. And so just to make my life easier in the future, some of the envelopes I don't fully condense. So school expenses, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, and 90. Let's swap these out for a 20. To school. 1, 2, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 340, 350. Let's see. All right. Birthday parties, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, ooh, 100, perfect. Our next birthday party is not until October and that's for Rowan, her sixth birthday, so. Is that right? I feel like I maybe had more than that in that envelope. <laughs> Who knows, okay. So 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 75, 80, so 130. So let's go like this. So we got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So $230 in hockey. Gymnastics, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65. So we'll swap this out for a 50. So 65 still for gymnastics. All right, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. While we're at it, we're gonna swap all of this out for better bills. My cash stuffing that you'll see tomorrow, so I got some pretty bad denominations. <laughs> like. The bills were in bad shape. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we'll swap these fives out for 20. Rowan, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm trying to put all of the not so great ones in the back. We'll bring those back to the bank. And then Bristol, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we'll swap these fives out for a 20. And then kids miscellaneous, we cannot condense. There's exactly 70 in there. Next up is our home binder. Okay, so for household, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. So this is kind of silly, but I'm going to swap these out and we're going to do it like this. Again, household is one of those things that and envelopes that we spend out of more often. Garden 50, 70. Let's go like this because that's 100. Seasonal lawn care, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we'll swap this out for a 50. Oh yeah, if you want an update on our situation with all of our home problems, definitely watch my video tomorrow because I talk about it. Organizing, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. swap this 20 out too. It is not good. Let's see here. Home. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we'll swap these out for a 50. I feel like I almost could have gotten away with not taking money out of the bank like larger denominations since I pulled so much out of my savings challenges. I could have just used that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you know what? Um, we're actually going to take this entire envelope out because our freeze, dry freeze dryer is fully funded, which is super exciting. So I do have my freeze dryer envelope. All right, so we should have 1,800 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000, 11, 1150, 12, 12, 50. Actually, we're gonna do this. Counting fives, like, 50s like that is weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000. 51, 52, 53, 54, 50, 500. 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. Perfect. So we have $1,800 in here. So we're going to deposit this into the bank because truth be told, we already bought the freeze dryer because it was on sale and we couldn't not do it. So I actually have a little bit more here than I need now because we got it on sale. So this is going to go back to replenish my um, savings account because I borrowed some of the money out of the savings account. So, I guess we were to like take an envelope out, but it's also really exciting to hit a goal like that. So, I feel like it can go either way. Okay, renovations, we can, uh, oh wait, we can condense this. So we have 250s. Pool, let's see how much we have in pool. 100, 150, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So we'll swap these out. So $800 in pool. I will give you an update about the pool, but the rest you have to go watch my video tomorrow. Um, we had the, the pool cover people come out. Um, they're still waiting on the actual pool cover, but they got all of the other pieces installed, like the track and everything, and they confirmed we do not need a new motor. So that saved us about, I don't even know anymore, $3,000. So the motor is good, which is really exciting. So seasonal decor, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. 
go. We'll do a $100 bill. Oh, why not? All right, that's it for our home binder. All right. All of this, I like it when it's straight, you know what I mean? All right, so Valentine's Day. 5, 10, 15, 20. There's a lot of these that have a lot of fives because I stuff five a week, most weeks, in most of these. So this is the one I'm the most excited to condense because it needs it the most. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. What is this? Easter? Yes. So let's swap this 50. And then 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. We'll swap all that out for 100. So the 105 for Easter 2025, which sounds really strange. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm pulling out all of the nice denominations. So one thing I really love about cash condensings is that you can do that. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So since Father's Day is over and we gave Chris, we saved up $200 for him to go golfing with Liam. So since that's over, we'll do this and just kind of save for next year. That's right, isn't it? Is that how much I just, or was it 50? Yeah, I'll catch it when I'm editing, no big deal. The one nice thing about filming, 20, 40, 60, 81. So we're for sure gonna do this. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. Yeah, that's good, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. I'm not talking a lot in this video because I'm trying to like really concentrate so I don't mess this up. All right. Doing good on the 4th of July envelope, I think. So 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Thanksgiving, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we'll swap these fives out for a 20. Black Friday, okay, one, two, 250, let's count this. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. 50 is 140. 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So let's swap this out for 100. So 340. Our goal is 500 for Black Friday. So we are getting there. Let's see what we got here for Christmas. 51, 52, 250. Is that two? All right, I was wrong. I do need these hundreds. We were $50 away from getting a, doing a $500 placeholder on that one. All right, New Year's Eve, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Swap these out for a 20. So we have 175. And then for seasons, 1, 2, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. So then we'll swap this out for a 50. And that is it. I think that is all of our binders. So the next thing we're going to do is count what we have and figure out how much we were taking back to the bank. 
So what I know to be true is that I had $1,500 that I borrowed from our savings account for this cash condensing. So let's first count out 1,500. So we have 100, 200, 253, 354, 455, 556, 657, 758, 859, 950, 1,000. 5, 51, 52, 53, 54, 50, 500. So I had 10 100s and 10 50s. So that is what I borrowed. So the rest of this that we're counting, I'm not going to take this all out yet. I do that every time and I don't need to take this out yet. <laughs> this is what we are bringing back to the bank for our savings challenges. 51, 52. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 280. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. It's like a row five in there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, so 140. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. I got to count fives in like increments of 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. $2,450 is what we are taking back from our savings challenges. Plus, we are replenishing our buffer. Not our buffer, just our savings challenge in general. Oh my god, I cannot speak today, you guys. This is what happens when I film two videos back to back. I like lose the ability to speak. This is going back to replenish our savings account because I spent the money out of there on the freeze dryer already because it was on sale. So the money that we saved up for this is going back in there. So we are also putting in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Oh no, I don't remember what the number was before. One, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 100. Well, 600 technically, because of this too. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. 1800, like I said. So whatever 1800 plus the number I had before on the calculator is, that is the total amount we are taking back to put into our savings account. So that will actually grow our savings account because it was not already in there. Whereas the 1500 that I pulled out just to use for this condensing is going back in there. So that's gonna end up being a wash, but whatever that number was on my calculator, was it 2,400? Was it 2,450? So that's how much we are taking back. So I'm super excited about that. I did not think it was gonna be that much, I'm not gonna lie. So I know what you're gonna ask, because everyone always does every time I show these or use these. So these are going to be one of the next things that come to the shop. So the Sophie binders are restocking, well, as I'm filming this video, it's tomorrow 
when you're seeing this video, it will be yesterday. But they're restocking on June 21st at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And once I am caught up on orders from this restock, because I also just restocked the Chic wallets as well and the Poppy wallets. So we have a, a lot of restocks happening. As soon as I'm caught up on orders, I am going to start working on the handmade items. So that means placeholders, the monthly savings challenge trackers, I feel like there's something else. Placeholders, the trackers. Oh, the starter savings challenge bundle, the ones that are laminated trackers. And then I will also open up the listing for these when we do the restock on all those handmade items. So that is the next thing coming to the shop. I just need to like one thing at a time because I get so excited and I want to do it all at once and then I get overwhelmed. So we're focusing on the Sophie restock now and then these will get restocked shortly after that. I don't have a date yet or else I would tell you, but I will announce it as soon as I know. But either way, I feel like this was a less chaotic cash convincing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. And I hope my video blessed you in some way. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.